to the dream and turned it into a nightmare. For 2,000 years, the Jew, wherever he was, whether in, in Morocco, or in Poland, or in Iran, or in Russia, in the Galut, prayed and dreamed and hoped that someday he would escape the shame, the fear of the Galut. Someday he would have a stay. By definition, a state of our own is a place where there is no fear. Where Jewish youngsters can walk freely anywhere in their own country. Where there is Jewish sovereignty. And the Almighty, in His mercy, gave us a state. And we took this state and we took this dream and we have turned into the worst kind of galut imaginable. Jew was afraid to walk through Shashem to, to the Kotel, who dreamed of such a thing. If one could have told our great 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 grandparents that someday there would be a state again and he would be afraid, he would have laughed at us and said, What are you crazy? What kind of Jews do you think we are? That is what has happened. We are afraid. Jewish cars are stolen regularly. Jewish buses stolen regularly. A Jew rides in a bus, and expects his bus to be stolen. It has become an expectation. Buses ride through Wadi Ara in the heartland of Israel. And as they pass the area of Ulipachim, the passengers instinctively lower their heads. This is a Jewish state. This is the dream. This is Shifat Sion, the return to Zion. Not this. This is a perversion of that dream. This is a desecration of God's name. And for desecration, there is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness in this world for Chidul Hashem.